I just came because I told y'all I was going to get my gap space. Well, come to find out, they can't even close my gaps because of my bottom teeth. So, I'm just stuck with these gaps until I figure something else out. A little disappointing, but I'll be okay. But I have a cavity, so I had to work. Got calcium. He he had to have some. Doesn't work. You know, we both gonna be in mess up. Then they. <laughs> All right, y'all. Two of my gifts. My apple. Uh, what is this, y'all? Watch. Uh, the what is it, Calvin? The thing to go to my Apple Watch. The Band, apple band, and then apple band bangle. Too cute. And it says one in one in a million. Hey everybody. <sighs> Happy Saturday. Well, it'll be Sunday when you see me. But uh, I'm on my way home because I have to get my hair done today. Yeah, my tongue is still a little numb from yesterday. Like, the dentist, when he gave me them shots in my gums, oh my gosh. It's like my tongue is still hurting. But I'm just leaving Walmart because I decided to uh, put some items on the grill and what else did I decide mm -hmm. to make some rice and Calvin talked said something about making turkey burgers so I got the stuff for that Calvin has to work today, so we were all going out, supposed to go out to eat, but I really wanted to go out to eat with all of my kids before I leave tomorrow, but don't look like that gonna happen, so I don't even know what time he get off, so I said I won't worry about it, I just cook some food on the grill go get my hair done and come back home and relax. I thought I was going to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off when I um, got out the hair salon, but I just eliminated that by going to Walmart and getting cards from Walmart and gift bags from there. about seven possibilities for outfits for tomorrow and then my sisters said they were thinking about uh they were thinking about uh wait i'll be right y'all i'm back i had to uh call my friend to see if her sister had the shirt she made me her other sister made me some shirts um for mother's 
today. So I'm going to pick those up because I don't think I'm coming back to the city any time today. I think I'm going to take the interstate home for my hair appointment. shirts and then go home. Gotta go home. And get ready for my hair appointment because time flies. Y'all, I don't know if I explained to y'all what happened last week with my hair appointment. I'm just looking for a good hairdresser. Like one that's gonna be consistent like and do my hair consistently. You know, and I don't have to run behind them and change appointments and all of that. So, the last girl me and Callie went to, she was nice and everything at the end. I felt like it was all good, but it was too much going on for me. Um, because when I booked my appointment online, she messaged me like two hours later, maybe like at 11.30, and said that, she wasn't doing hair that Saturday. And I'm like, well, why did your appointment schedule say you were? So I had to pay like 50 something dollars deposit and it was non-refundable. So she was like, she could switch my day or whatever and have me come that Friday. So I was like, okay, I was trying to be compliant. I'm like, okay, I'm all Friday. Um, so I'll come Friday, me and Callie, we leave, I pick her up from school early, we leave, go to the hair appointment there 30 minutes early because I didn't want to be late and I've never been to her place, only for her to tell me that she has three people ahead of me and that it'll probably be eight or nine. Now, mind you, my appointment was at 4.30 and it was four o'clock when I got there. She said she had three people ahead of me because some of her appointments got backed up. And I'm like, okay, you said on the on okay, you 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 don't do deposit deposit refunds, even if it's your fault. But you said on the uh on the little online thing it said that if you were late 15 minutes, that your appointment would be canceled. So you can honor the other thing, but you can't honor that. So I gotta tighten my oh so I was, you know, I, I'm, I'm non-confrontational or whatever when it comes to, I try to keep it business or whatever because, you know, things happen. I understand. So I'm like, well, we'll wait. She said, okay, well, you can go ahead and wait. And that's just how she, she messaged it. And we were outside at this point. So I sent Callie in. I'm like, um. Can you ask her what time, if she wants us to come back tomorrow, what time she would want us to come back? She tells Callie, she said she was going to wait so she can just wait. I'm like, I didn't know how to take that. Now, Callie, Callie, Callie came back and got, gave me a, like, when she tells you somebody say something, she'll tell you just how somebody said it. So, here I go. I'm like, excuse me. Um what time would you like me to be back tomorrow? She said 12.30. I'm like, 12.30? I thought you said you was going out of town and you wasn't doing her hair on the mark, but I wasn't going to say nothing. I went ahead and I, um, I said, we'll be here at 12.30. So, while we get there at 12.30 and we got to wait a whole hour and a half because she's sewing somebody hair when we walk in the door. My original appointment was Saturday at 10. So why is it 1230 and you sewing somebody in? Like, if you got a business, okay, we people know your time is important. But please know that your customer's time is important also. Because I don't think a lot of stylists know that. Like your your time is important, but mine is too. So I just 
got a text that I caught only a piece of it and if it say what I thought it say, I'm like, what? But, um, neither here nor there. Still going to get this shirt. Uh, but the text said something about, oh, I don't know. Go back to this right here. It didn't have nothing to do with the shirt. It was another text. I just hate when people text me only when they need something like that burns me that burns me if you don't text me all the time don't text me when you need something don't and, I, and I'm just saying lord I ain't been to her house in a minute I can't remember I think I'm going right way okay so yeah so then we didn't leave my use point was supposed to be at 12 30 we didn't leave at her shop to five o'clock and then my leave out and my hair would not stay down so i understand that that might not be her fault or anything but even my hairstylist uh that i go to that i used to go to she would blend the hair real good like she would I don't know. I had like this extra spot where it looked like it needed another track. Or whatever. I'm not knocking her or whatever, but it only lasts a week. A week, and I had to, tip, you know, yesterday. Y'all saw how my hair looked yesterday. It was rough. So I don't know. It wasn't working. So let me go in and get these shirts and I'll be right back. All right. I'm back in the car. So yeah. So it was just too many red flags with the girl. No offense to her or whatever. And maybe it was just a bad week to get my hair done with her. But I could not. I might wear this to uh, my bed, y'all. Somebody called my phone. But this is how the shirt look. It says, different sayings about mom. Moms. Thought that was too cute. Too, too, too cute. And also, we got this shirt that my sister is wearing. And this one, that was too cute. And this one that says mama so this is I think this one is mine a good job on making shirts she's supposed to make my logo shirts and i'm super excited about that but yeah so this new girl well she's not new um me and her mama are co-workers but she does hair she has a hair she um works at a hair salon and so she's gonna do my hair y'all she be slaying them hairstyles on Facebook, I'm telling you. So, I went ahead and booked my appointment with her, and she's so sweet. Like, good vibes. Good vibes. So, yeah. No, I think I'm going to wear my mama shirt today. I should cook because Calvin said something about 
taking me out to eat that night being that uh and we were supposed to go to the movies so maybe i'll make turkey burgers for lunch and just save the chicken barbecue chicken and rice and stuff to do for monday for dinner that's probably what i'll go ahead and do oh y'all it sucks but i'm trying to keep y'all abreast to what is going on right now and um Tomorrow, my Monday's video will be the concert, day of concert. Me and my sister, we're going down to uh, the concert tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh, I know what else I need to do. Wait, what is going on? I know what else I need to do. I need to... on something else that I absolutely forgot about. It's like so much going on today. So much going on. And my mouth is still kind of hurting low-key. But uh yeah. I don't know if me and Calvin are going out to eat tonight. We might just do a date night because my kids, y'all, as you see, the boys didn't go out to eat with us. And since CJ got his new phone, he don't want to go nowhere. He want to play his phone. And then my sister bought him a controller. And I got him a new game he don't want to part with. Callie's on her phone. Like, I don't know. She might go out to eat with us. I don't know. Whoever want to go can go. I just want to have a night where all my kids come together and go out to eat but like i tell calvin i don't like forcing them to go out to eat dinner with us because i'm like what's the point in forcing them to go out to dinner with us it defeats the purpose they don't enjoy themselves and i don't enjoy myself because i have to be like straighten your face out y'all stop this, that, and the third, and I ain't got time for that. Your girl ain't got time for that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm rambling now, so, ooh, what was that? Noodles. That was noodles. So, uh, Don't work. 
it don't work it, it's, it, it works for a couple of hours and then when I get hot and stuff it just stops poofing back up so that's why I don't wear my hair out and I'm behind this boat it don't seem to have no place to go that as soon as I get the dots on my side I'm going to go around Yeah, I probably should go around. All right, I just wanted to check in before I go get my hair done. And, you know, so y'all can see how I'm looking. And, you know, see what it's going to look like after. <sighs> Hoping I get it there on time because, y'all, when I say blow dry my hair was rough, it was rough. I ain't even had time to put this, uh, I needed to put some Vaseline. Yeah, I saw some pink just now. I'm like, oh no, I can't walk around with a pink forehead now. Mm -mm. But I know y'all say this has been a boring vlog, and it's, it, it, it probably has been boring. But I just wanted to give y'all something, you know, before tomorrow's vlog where I go to the concert. I just didn't want to just be popping up. We were at the concert. Like, I wanted to give y'all a vlog before, you know. In one mile, turn left on US 52. So, um, I got my GPS going so I can make it there to the right place on time. Because I've never been to this shop, so I don't know exactly where it's located. So, I'm going to just go ahead and cruise and I'll talk to y'all after my hair gets done. Alright y'all, I'm back in the car. And this is how my hair looks. I really like going to her. Uh, she was really professional. Really sweet. And we actually talked. And it wasn't so, you know, boring. Lashes. 
go. I'm gonna go see if I can do all of that. And I wanted to find a jury set for my outfit tomorrow. what I'm pushing for. So, I guess I'll talk to y'all a little later. Am I the only one when I get to the gas station I like to use that as an opportunity to clean my truck out? Like in a trash thing? Like whatever trash I got I just go ahead and fill it in the little thing. Y'all didn't tell y'all how Calvin played me today. So I don't, and I don't know what he did with mine. What happened was he broke my cord for my um, ox. Cord was like, my cord usually be like $15 at Walmart for that little ox cord that I use. You know, to play my music from Pandora. 
or whatever. So the other night, he didn't have enough money with him when he went to Walmart to um, get another op score. So then I cash at him twenty dollars to get me an op to get an op score. Mind you, he broke my op score because. He messed up his out score for the beats. His um beats headphones that I bought him last year for Christmas. So he be using my ox with his beats. With him driving a vehicle, the truck, he'll take the ox cord out when he get out. And then eventually it broke. So like I said, I cashed up him enough money to get another ox core. So I guess he's been using this new ox core for his beats also. He was already a little upset because I told him I had a hair appointment and he couldn't drive my truck to work. So I get in, get down the road, try to listen to music and realize that the ox core wasn't in the car. So, I'm having a ride the whole way with no music. Y'all know about somebody who was upset. I was upset. I said, come on. I called him back and said, come on. Why you took the Oscar out? I meant to put it back in. I said, you know what? I'm going to buy another Oscar and you bet not touch it. Bet not. Can't be riding with no music. So, I gotta go get me another ox cord. Because in Calvin's car, that's the only way he can listen to music. Because Calvin don't have a CD player or anything like that. <sighs> Y'all, to be honest, I could really just go home and curl up in my bed, watch TV. I really could. Because if I get home and Calvin ain't trying to make no movement to go nowhere, I ain't going to say nothing about going nowhere because this could be a nice relaxing day. I did buy stuff to cook, so we could always cook on the grill this afternoon. And that would satisfy me just fine at this point. Because I'm tired. I don't even feel like doing nothing. I don't feel like going nowhere. I just want to lay down and go to sleep. And I'm pretty sure that's probably what Kevin feeling like right now at the dialysis. It's gonna be Callie that comes in there. <laughs> she was like, what are we doing this afternoon? I said, Callie, your daddy said I'm not going to the movie. And I did. And she was like, yes, y'all the best. Think we gonna be the best if we don't go? Any movie I go watch right now, I'm they probably gonna end up watching me because that's how tired I am. It's just 3 18, 3 16, so I got enough time to take me a nap, possibly, and then go from there. But I'm gonna put some gas in because my gas tank is about on E. Oh, I got to tighten this thing up so the next time I'm hitting bumps y'all just not all over the place see there go my gas light So, we about to go put some gas in. Made it just in time. So I'll be back, y'all.